Hello everybody, welcome to story time. Today it's Australia Day and uh, some people in Australia like to celebrate today and remember that it's the start of a new beginning for their continent. So I thought that I would share with you a book about an Australian animal. So I've borrowed this book and it's Koala Who Could. So the Koala Who Could by uh, Rachel Bright and Jim Field. And this is a book that belongs to Mrs Curran and the Koala class and I know that they really love this book so I thought that uh, we could all share this today with it being about Australian animals. So we'll have a little look at the blurb and it says meet Kevin, a koala who likes to keep things the same, exactly the same. But when the change comes along, uninvited one day, Ke uh, Kevin discovers life can be new and wonderful. So I wonder what adventures Kevin's going to get up to today. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn, where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures ran wild and played free. A koala called Kevin clung to a tree. If we look at this page here, we can see there's a, a kookaburra in that tree. And here, in this page, is Kevin clinging to his tree. Lots of lovely colours. A nicer grey fellow you never would meet, as soft as soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favourite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all these three things. Yes, Kevin was king of the staying still kings. Look at him there, he's having a little snooze in the tree. He's really enjoying being in that tree. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move nor to change. If we look on there, we can see quite a few different Australian animals. We've got the, the emu and the dingoes and the kangaroo and really funny little character there with a hat. He looks cute. Oh, here he is. So he clung to his tree and he knew how to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down and play? Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, sorry, I can't. There he is with his leaf collection. Kevin and his leaves up in the tree. <clears throat> why not, cried the ruse, who liked the idea. Yes, why, called the dingoes. You've nothing to fear. But Kevin, who wasn't the do-things-quick sort, said, I've clinging to do, but thanks for the thought. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join them down there. The whole thing was risky, adventure could wait, but he knew he'd miss home in the dark and the late. Whatever the invite, he'd always say, no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around, until he woke to a worrying sound. I wonder what that could be. Tap, tap, tappity tap, 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 tap. Oh no! It's a woodpecker tapping away at Kevin's tree. Uncling, the crowd shouted and gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. 
let go. No, I shan't. I won't, clung on Kevin. Oh dear, I just can't. Woof! Down came the tree with a cracking and pinging, crash and a wallop with Kevin still clinging. So the woodpecker has cut all the way through the tree. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one claw by one claw he slowly, slowly unclung. He felt springy and light and happy and young. He looks brilliant on there, doesn't he? He looks really happy. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and just and he was just fine. Why? He felt quite first class. So when Wombat held out a welcoming paw, Kevin, he didn't hold back anymore. Oh, that's good. Look at all the friends he's got now. He was so lonely up in that tree, wasn't he? When Dingo Call asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. Look at all those creatures now, so happy around the, uh, the waterfall and had a, a lovely time together. So Kevin was brave. He tried something new and he found out that it was good. He enjoyed doing that. So that was a lovely story. So thank you, Mrs. Curran, and thank you, the koalas, for letting us share the koala, koala who could on Australia Day. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you very soon for another story. Take care. Bye for now.